It's the day of the release. Welcome to Jurassic World Evolution Return. Is it there? It might be, I think it's there, if I remember right. Return to Jurassic Park. And this is part one of the playthrough. I will be giving away 10 copies of this game. And to enter, you comment on this video what your favorite dinosaur is and your Steam username. So I can uh, add you and send it to you that way. But we've waited long enough. We've waited long enough. It's time. Team up with Dr. Alan Grant, Dr. Ellie Sattler, and Dr. Ian. That's a lot of doctors. Dr. Ian Malcolm in this what if scenario, tasking you to fix the mistakes of the past and salvage Jurassic Park. I thought this was like canon. Okay, maybe it's not canon. Did Colin Trevorrow just go, nay, none of that. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to say thank you guys. I, I put up a poll asking if you wanted face cam with us, and a large majority of you did. You just want me to mess with my hair. So there you go. Also, I've just released this new merch. I only had 250 of these hoodies, ran out within four days. So I was lucky enough to get another batch through, um, and those are up now in the link in the description below. Shh, it's, it's starting. Nobody, really loud popcorn. Now this is a really cool intro I've seen. I wonder if it's still in here they've kept it the same. Wait, why am I doing this? I'll get copyright. They wouldn't claim me for the intro, would they? Oh my god. It's beautiful. I can hear the bump. Oh, I love this. We go back. We go back. Now, apparently this takes place not right after the events of Jurassic Park, but sometime after. Now, I'm assuming the reason why they've done this is to link it into the final Jurassic World film. Oh, there it is. Ooh. This is this is serious business music. This is this isn't wonderful and ooh ah. <laughs> this is so cool. It gets so much better, Mr. Cabot. Believe me. Uh, I I I didn't believe you the first time, John. Ah, this is the abuse I'm paying for. We all have our doubts, John. But we want to believe. We just need assurances. What's there it like? Is. Seeing a dinosaur for the first time. Oh, it's like, uh, you know, it's like the early days of a new romance. It's fascinating and exhilarating uh, until the fangs and the claws come out. I love how they kept that it's fence looking the same. Definitely a profound moment. It made an impression on me. Let's put it that way. This is why Jurassic Park oh, must succeed, big... Doctor. Oh, sorry, sorry. I want the world to have that same profound memory. You know, I could do without uh, some of the memories of this place. That's precisely why I asked you all to take this journey again. Had you been part of the process earlier, perhaps our first time around would have been different. A mistake I'm correcting. We're giving you a chance to prove it, John. More importantly, we're giving these dinosaurs a chance to live in harmony with the modern world. Hmm. However tenuous and unwise that may be. I'm going to prove it to you all. And Dr. Malcolm, I'm going to prove you wrong. First time for everything, I suppose. Mm. I was going to prove it with my mug, but because it's thermal and all the tea's gone, it doesn't show. I was like, damn! <laughs> as you can imagine, everything is a wee bit of a muddle on Isla Nublar. Ooh. So we'll have our work cut out for us. <laughs> yeah, see. A return to the scene of the crime, as it were. What crime would that be? Ah, uh, hubris, John. Something that'll hopefully be managed a little I know more what I'm doing. this time. I know what I'm doing. I admit <laughs> that I may have been too enthusiastic, and that it may, may have led to blind spots. spots. That's why I've brought young Cabot Finch along with us. So, uh, what kind of science are you studying, Cabot? Uh, business. Business? Oh, great. The last thing we need more of. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I need to come out or else it won't give me the transmission. <laughs> After reviewing everything with Mr. Hammond, we'll need to start by placing an arrival point. Then we can restore the core facilities and get a ranger outpost up and what running. What skin is this? Well, you, actually, Dr. Grant, and Dr. Sattler, and Dr. Malcolm. Much to do, but it sounds easy enough. <laughs> you really are new to this, aren't you, Finch? All right, I did the thing. You nervous to be back, Dr. Grant? You know, the last time I was here, I left in kind of a hurry. And I want to make absolutely sure what happened isn't repeated ever again, so I've returned reluctantly. 
On the positive side, I'm just like imagine. trying to stifle any commentary. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Listen, go Is ahead. I put in a clearer picture for you. Completely, Doctor Grant. And Mr. Hammond seems pretty confident we can get everything working as designed and intended. Confidence is not something John Hammond lacks. Competence, however, is something I pride myself in, Dr. Grant. We'll need to repair the geothermal power station. Way stop. ahead of you. Okay, once that is done, we can focus on the visitor center. Repaired and powered, it should give us a solid base of operations. I <laughs> just know everything. Oh, and I'm trying to like speed through. Like, I know you what's know, coming. I was reluctant to come back here for, for obvious reasons, but then I realized that I was even more reluctant to stay away because nature would take its course as it always does. I felt the same. Still, there's no denying this is the single most important place on Earth right now. Perhaps ever. Perhaps, but uh, what of Dr. Grant? Oh, it's an actual team. tour path now. Too thick and thin, you know? Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Still, um, chaos. Dr. Sattler, um, chaos has me contemplating whether we can actually make things better or just delay the inevitable. It all comes down to responsibility. The last time we were here, we were Hammond's guests. This time, we're more like partners. Now we have the knowledge and the means to make a change. Ambitious, Dr. Sattler, that's ambitious, but, uh, you know, I do like the, uh, sentiment. Good. I'll need a research module added to the visitor center. Then we can get a look at the different fencing available. Let's <laughs> add an emergency bunker to that list as well. I mean, you know, we've both experienced how effective fences have been in the past. Already done it. Already done it. Trungalized raptors. Mr. Hammond is very concerned. <laughs> We're getting reports of staff injuries. Velociraptors. Okay, we have to get them enclosed in the raptor pen. Where do you think you're going? Expert on raptors, Dr. Grant? Uh, I think that it'd be fair to say that uh, raptors and Dr. Grant have uh, history. Devoting your life to the study of an animal means accepting the harsh truth that it would try to kill you if you ever came face to face. Oh, just go through. Face to face with it. Which was impossible before Jurassic Park. So that had to count for something. It did. Oh, for a lot of sleepless nights. Right. See, I was going for a speed run tactic. But, uh... Oh, oh, there you go. Just in case you didn't know, the flare and the destruction. <laughs> I was glad that I could showcase the uh, vehicles being destroyed. Um, that was just a happy incident. Accident. And you guys noted that the Triceratops actually lowered its head when it went to attack me. It's going to go through that little gap, in it? It's going to go through that little gap. You're gonna do it. Oh, oh, not you. Oh, you're gonna go slow. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and you're not. Oh, oh, it did go through. Just, just. Right, we have one raptor. Is that. Did he fall down? He's. Oh, there's a few. There's a few. We have to go this way. We'll repair that fence just in case. Oh, that's a Gallimimus. We don't need that. Now, which one's the date? Aha! There we go. Here we go. On the tour. Ooh. Interesting. It's now dirt instead of road. Oh, to shoot, right? Come on, come on, come on. It's going to run off this way. Ah, yeah, there we go. You have three, two, one. Boop. <laughs> right, one more. Oh, the gate's open now. Oh, it looks awesome. I'd love that trackway in the middle of the road here. <laughs> I'll do John Hammond in charge of InGen. But where, where's this other one? It must be off this. I look like a T-Rex there. Hold on, hold on. Oh, ooh, expanded ranges team functionality. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, it's straight ahead. Straight ahead. Let's go, let's go. Can we, can we, how long have we been recording for? 10 minutes. Can we do the first mission in under 10 minutes? <laughs> Oops, sorry, sorry. What, what you called Harding? Oh, Jesus, that was not good. He's going to be very far away. Is he straight into the jungle? Straight forward. Straight into the trees. I got her. But I think it's... Yeah, it's going to be in here. What I could do is what I did in the playthrough. <laughs> it's just delete all the trees. I was very proud of that. Right, there she is. There she is. This will be the big one. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. And now, all we need to do is transport them back into 
Is that a Gallimimus? No, so many dead galleys. I tried to act quick. I tried. And there they go. They should all be transported. So our goal now is get everything under control, right? Control? No. No, no, Finch. The best you can hope for on Isla Nublar is uh, uh, managed chaos. Oh, there it is. Okay. And that is why you are here, Dr. Malcolm. Oh, I've so, never seen it so close to the building before. my sparkling personality, then? We just need Jurassic Park manageable. Chaos and all. Then we can think about larger plans. John, Alan and I still really aren't comfortable opening the park to tourists. That is kind of an understatement. I understand your sentiment and your concerns, but all in due course. And I do seem to remember seeing the public at your dig site in the Badlands. Charged them, didn't you? Those donations help fund our research. As did I. For which Got we are grateful. <laughs> it's really no different than what we are doing here at Jurassic Park, Dr. Oh, Sandler. this place is huge. Just on an admittedly much grander scale. And with more theatrics. And buttered popcorn. <laughs> we all know your vision, John. But the execution... It really needs work. That is why you are all here. To make sure this dream, my dream, doesn't die. Yes. And there is one oh. other major difference between us, John. In Montana, Ellie and I were pulling dinosaur fossils out of the ground. And here, it's the dinosaurs that are trying to put us into the ground. <laughs> and isn't that exciting? Finch, you really need to learn when to stop talking. <laughs> and is that it? Did we do it? Construct fences to prevent dinosaurs from accessing central facility buildings. Oh. All righty. I guess since we've only got electric fences, we may as well do it. This is new. I'm pretty sure it ended there. Because I remember I, I did that and then all of a sudden uh, it, it ended. And I thought, no, I haven't got anything. So, ooh, ooh we've got one. We've got one more fence over here that needs fixing. Oh no, it's going for it, I think. Although he seems to be stuck in trees. Are you going super slow? No, you, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Is that it? We do have some dinosaurs in here, though. So I'm just wondering if I open up this gate. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. That's all we wanted was Jurassic Park. That's all we needed. Uh, do we have a gate open by any chance? No, there's no gates open. Construct fences to prevent dinosaurs from accessing central facility buildings. That's this bit, right? It may be they're just waiting for the raptor to be transported. I'm trying to wonder where, where are these helicopters? It's doing one by one, which is interesting. Oh, here you go. Raptor in. There you are. Lovely. Oh, this is so cool. I love it. Oh, there you go. One Gallimimus out. That's good. The other one should follow. You got the Dilophus. So, so okay, let let. Let's see, how did this go? So we had the tour that went through here, and then this was the, the Dilophosaur exhibit? Yes, there it is. First up on our tour, the Dilophosaurus. Then they would go this way, and then they had the, what do you got in there, a King Kong? And then they went off, and it should be the tri the Stegosaurus, sorry. <gasps> the path isn't completed! Oh no! And then that would go around this way, and then everything else is here. It's interesting. It's not the entire island because there's no T-Rex. Did that count? Oh. Oh, hold on. I'll open this gate. The, the Gallimimus is over here for whatever reason. Oh, wait. No, it's not. It's out. No, they're all out. Yeah, close gate. Close the gate. And can we close your you as well? Close you. Is there any other fences? Like construct fences to prevent dinosaurs accessing... Central facility buildings. Are there any more that I'm missing? Unless this is open. No, that one's not open either. Oh dear. So much for a speed run. Is this... Is this normal? I really hope this isn't a glitch. Uh, could prevent from accessing... Cons Did it... Oh, right, okay. So now, yeah, they're all out now. So now we just gotta wait a minute. Let's have a look at the uh, staff. So you've got the Harding, they're the, sort of the veterinarians, if I remember. We have no pink shirts, we have the maintenance crew, the Hardings. Um, oh, wait, I was going to say, is that the hotel? But it's not. But it does have people around here, too. Does this act as a... 
Uh, we'll find out. Because it used to act as a um, a hatchery. Because I don't think we, we build one here. So that's interesting. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Look at that. I could just stare at that for ages. Finally. Finally. It took forever. But we finally got a visitor center. Did I do it? I did it. I don't, what, what time are we on? 60 minutes according to that. But it's not really 60 minutes. So what do we get? Research speed now available and ranger team availability. Let's research those. Or can we? What's the next mission? It's still going to take a while to properly organize and restore the scientific data. Dr. Wu left behind a ton of material. Is that After the main mission? After every sabotage, it's a miracle we have anything to work with. True. But between the storm, the dinosaurs, and whatever Nedry did to the computers, the records and documentation are a mess. But you think it can be done? If we can make dinosaurs, then we should be able to sort paperwork and organize computer files. Can we make dinosaurs? Or are these just impressive replicas? Oh, they're alive, Alan. And I want them to be as scientifically accurate as possible. Hammond Sounds like Saurian. made their mistake by substituting amphibian DNA. And hiring wrong people. But now Hammond has the right ones. I think that's everything. Us. <laughs> I don't know what he sees in that Cabot kid. People say that to me about you. Oh! People. People like Dr. Rockstar. Oh! <laughs> Burn, Ellie! You know what I could use? Pictures of the dinosaurs. I'll get together a list of specific photos that I need. Never thought I'd be able to take photos of dinosaurs before. That's a first. That's it. And Alan? Breeding control. Alan's cap. I want actual images. I'll remember. This time. So research item from research center breeding All countermeasure life has two instinctual impulses that no amount of tinkering or engineering biological or otherwise can ever hope to overcome one survival two reproduction with man with man uh, you can add a third domination man oh boy all right, anyway, you're not wrong, which is even more reason we'll need to research a drug to act as a countermeasure to the dinosaurs breeding. Well, they've had a free run of the island for a while, so we've got to assume that they've been mating. It would be a recurrence plot. Which is what, exactly? Although the world is in a constant state of chaos, certain events can be predicted because they happen repeatedly, regardless of the initial conditions. And an organism trying to perpetuate its DNA would be one of those, or maybe it's the tropical island paradise setting. You know, works for uh, works for newlyweds. You know, it could also be the food. Yeah, perhaps. But oh. Considering what some of the dinosaurs have consumed, let's hope not. Do we get it? Is that how we're deploying it through the food, or do we need to dump? I think we've developed a drug that should inhibit breeding. Doctor Malcolm, can you get a team together to administer it? Well. A ranger team can shoot them with darts. I thought so. While I watch safely and securely from a distance. Do, they, do these ranger teams ever do ride-alongs? You know, for you, Finch, oh. I, I believe they'd make an exception. Oh, God, that is actually really far away. Right, sniper shot on Triceratops. Is that going to hit it? Oh, okay, a little bit higher. A little bit higher. I'm determined I'll get this. It's a big enough target, right? Maybe it's just too far away. Okay, let's let's not be lazy. Let's go. So what was that? Some romantic plotline with Ian Malk. I'm sorry, Dr. Grant and Ellie Sattler. What I see in you. Ooh, maybe. Oh God. Um, can we can we go for a flare instead? Everybody, flare. Go for that. Uh, wait, so we need the Triceratops. Uh, whoa, the Brachiosaur is off. I've never seen a thing move that quick. <laughs> oh, did I not get it? Okay, so we got a galley to get as well. Right, that's a galley done. Uh, Brachiosaurus. That's four out of five. We're missing the Dilophosaurus, I think. Yeah, it's over this way, so we'll go get a Dilophosaurus. Now, what's interesting is I don't know if many people know about it, but um, Jeff Goldblum and Laura Dern, when they filmed, when they were during, when they were filming Jurassic Park afterwards, or some somewhere along that time, they started dating, uh, which is interesting. Uh, I, I don't know how long it lasted, um, but 
it's one of those, I was like, wait, what? They did? <laughs> they actually did? Like, that maybe, it must have been through their, uh, their acting roles in Jurassic Park that they started dating. I don't think they dated for long, though. It's just like, oh my god, it's real life! <laughs> right, Dilophosaurus. Sorry! Sorry! Jeep coming through! Uh, we'll not take the tour, we'll take the, the maintenance road, I think. Can I actually go through here, even though it's a tour vehicle? Oh, I can! Oh, that's awesome! Beep beep! Okay, here's the, here's the maintenance way. I would have hidden this. This is too open to the public. Right, Dilophosaurus. Spitting blinding venom in its prey. Causing blindness, eventually paralysis. Allowing the carnivore to eat at its leisure. This makes Dilophosaurus a beautiful yet deadly addition to Jurassic Park. Right, let's draw them out. They should be up ahead. More flares, I say! Oh, it sort of it sort of goes across the floor. What the? It's it's just tough. <laughs> okay, okay. What I could do? Oh, wait, was that them? Wait, there's no one near them. <laughs> what did it? Okay, never mind. They're right by the fences. Let's get the uh, medicine ready. Run them over! How you doing, ladies? Oh, you were. There you go. Structure broken. What? What just happened? Oh, sabotage! It's happening again, Hammond. No, I won't allow <laughs> It's happening it. again. You may not have that choice, John. Finch, I need to know. Do you have a report? It looks like the computer systems are under attack. John, we're being hacked. Biosyn! Dr. Malcolm is correct. The corrupted code has also affected the power grid. No, no, no! Don't say the gates are open. I won't, but they are. Oh, really? Protection needs to be our top priority. Oh the god, they're going! And the staff. Oh no! And staff, right? Let's get the power grid back. No, it's a little staff safety. And I am staff, obviously. <laughs> I've got programmers hardening the code as we speak. Finch, oh, you'll oops. help us get the personnel secured. <laughs> yes, the personnel, the staff, of which I am unquestionably one. Okay, there we go, there we go. Does that mean the other gate's open as well? Well, as long as that gate's closed. Is this one open? Yeah, that one's open, okay. Okay, there we go. I'm sure there's got to be some sort of uh, achievement for not letting the Dilophosaurus loose. And I accidentally let one free there because I didn't realize this is what I had to do. <laughs> I was all ready to do something else. But let's get this uh, sabotage under progress. And where's that Dilophosaurus? Oh, do we have to reboot everything? Like all the gates? User rate, reboot, sabotage, power station, and gates. Oh, okay. Ah. So, that's one. We've got five left. Now, this will be interesting to see if the raptors actually get out from this. Because I know there's two gates over here. Oh, there we go. Can I, can I power slide through this one? Hold on, guys. Damn it. <laughs> There should be a gate in here as well. Three left. Should be around here. There we go. Power slide. There we go. Beautiful. Skills. Skills for days. And I've actually damaged my Jeep Wrangler. Oh, it's going to cost thousands. Are we going to storm? Oh, God. Right. And the last one. Where is it? Vobistu. Don't go eh? Where are you? I'll just follow. It's got to be along this fence, right? So I'm just going to follow. It's interesting that you had to get a, a picture of a dinosaur sleeping, and yet that's when it became night. I think Frontier did that deliberately. Yeah! Are we going to find out who just, um... Who did that? We identified some residual flaws in the park operations software. I wonder how they got missed the first time around. You, you've plugged the holes, though, right? There's some new counter-espionage software that just needs final testing. Keep people out of our business. Mr. Hammond would also like to make sure the dinosaurs are secure and comfortable. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Right, right. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that's the most common and least true words spoken at uh, Jurassic Park. So, it seemed like there was a lot of people speculating what the anti-breeding countermeasure would be in the game and what the counter sabotage would be. It seems as though they are probably campaign only <laughs> for this specific reason. 
So that's interesting. I thought they would have played a bigger role. We do have night vision and the raptors didn't get out? Strange. I was going to say, yeah, they should have put sand down here and the tree should be a little bit closer, but, uh, but hey, that works too. So what is, have they added anything extra? So we got the redwoods. Oh, they've added some shrubs to the bottom of this tree, I think, did they? Or at least in the picture that looks, yeah, there's some shrubs there. And then the big redwood trees. Oh, gorgeous. I just wish that the collision boxes were a little bit closer. Frontier, if you want to, if you want to make my Christmas extra Christmassy, I want to put trees like that closely together. Oh, it'd be so good. I'm satisfied with the latest reports on park security. Now we can move on to the next great challenge, the dinosaurs. For that, we'll have to journey to the companion island, Isla Son. Oh, here we go. We're going to Isla Son. Go to Isla So this is, this is Isla Sauna before Lost World, before Jurassic Park 3. So is Ian Malkin coming? Because he... In Lost World, he was like, wait, there's another island with dinosaurs on them? This has to, this can't be canon then. Unless he just forgot. <laughs> he just, oh, oops, yeah, I forgot about that, but no, he would remember. So this is, this is the new Isla Sauna. Oh my god, we're doing so much in one episode. Leave a like, guys. I'm just kidding, it doesn't really make much of a difference. <laughs> We call it Site B. Originally a massive holding pen and secondary research facility for our dinosaurs. Spared no expense. Didn't want to keep all your eggs in one incubator, huh, John? Aye, that is certainly one way to look at it. And another way, John? Yeah, it's also about the diversity of the environment. In other words, we weren't sure they'd survive on Isla Nublar. Darwin's most famous works were centered on species he studied on Galapagos Islands, isolated. It also has the benefit of keeping our work away from prying eyes. Yeah, and making potential rescue uh, like thousands of miles away. Always the negative with you, Dr. Malcolm. You know what? I think I think the voice actor for John Hammond is it, it's, it's growing on me. But I want to know what else is on this island. We've got Carithosaurus, which... That was what Dr. Wu was working on, like, that- I don't- uh, th The law is so messy, I think. <laughs> Jurassic Park era unlocked! Sandbox and challenge mode. Um, you can now select Jurassic Park era when starting a new challenge or sandbox, which we are gonna do. We are gonna do! There's so many new things as well that I haven't talked about that's happening in this, um, in this, uh, expansion. Like, the way certain carnivores can now fight each other, and, uh, like, uh, we'll go into. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it here, because it's almost been half an hour. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, and I'll see you in maybe an hour for the next episode. Oh, bye bye <laughs>